Reasons why the grass is greener after walking away. In this video, discover why the grass is greener after you walk away and how to find the better pastures you seek. Take that first step to brighter horizons and a newfound sense of peace. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description down below. The expression, the grass is greener on the other side, is a metaphor. It implies that beyond a person's current circumstances, there is a better situation that could make them happier. So, for example, we're in a toxic relationship of any kind. Some might say we're in way too deep with the toxic person. Perhaps it's been several years of dating, and therefore you've grown really accustomed to them in and around your personal life. Perhaps you're living together, and again, you're in and around this person pretty much 24-7. Perhaps you're married to them, and you're in too deep with that toxic person till death do us part. Perhaps you're raising a family with them, but you feel more alone in your own home and with your children than ever before. Regardless of where you are with the toxic relationship, there is a brief moment where we live inside our heads, where we look out towards the horizon, almost way off into the distance, and ask ourselves the following, what if I walked away? What if I moved on? What if I was to finally be free and maybe just be happy again? If the toxic person was to ever hear you say those things out loud, they'll come back with an army of responses. In particular, the grass is not always greener. I can, of course, debunk that argument immediately here. Because if you're happy and in a healthy relationship with somebody you adore and everything's going right for you, the grass is not greener because you're already content. And if you're content, why on earth would you want to be happier elsewhere with somebody else in a different environment? That for me is quite childish, immature and a foolish notion. But with regards to being currently in a toxic relationship with the wrong person, I can pretty much guarantee the grass is greener, especially after you walk away and move on. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. You will never be good enough for the wrong person, no matter what you do, how hard you try, how much you change yourself too. Years ago, I was in a toxic relationship with the wrong person. I tried very hard to make things work, went above and beyond to love her the best I could, connect and build something meaningful. But again, I was never going to be good enough for the wrong person. I'll never forget one particular evening going to a family function with her and feeling utterly bored, depressed and on edge. She spoke embarrassingly to my family, acted immaturely. She couldn't carry a conversation. At that moment, I remember staring off into the distance and thinking, what if? What if the grass was greener? Where would I be dating a classier, more intelligent, attractive, sophisticated woman who loved me and connected with me instead? Well, I'd be in a better place. I'd be far happier and healthier too. Eventually, and unsurprisingly, after years of arguments and not getting on, aka being wrong for each other, I finally walked away. And then I moved on. I did a hell of a lot of work on myself and of course had a hell of a lot of reflection. And I eventually attracted exactly what I was after. A healthy, wonderful partner and relationship. One where I never fantasize about the grass being greener. One where I'm content. Where I genuinely see a future. Where I'm building something. Where I'm happier. Where I'm actually becoming healthier too. I am living proof the grass is greener when you walk away from the wrong person and especially the wrong type of relationship for yourself too so why not take comfort in that and use it as your inspiration for change understand it's not a fantasy actually deep down it's the reality if you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. By walking away, you can become more self-aware. Taking a step away from a toxic relationship can help you become more aware of your own thoughts, feelings and behaviours. And this self-reflection can help you better understand yourself and work towards healthier relationships 
in the future. Because we run the risk of being on autopilot or like zombies when we're in a toxic relationship of any kind. Externally, we may appear fine, we may smile through the pain, may look and seem well, we may insist everything is great, but internally we're hurting badly. We're fed up and miserable, screaming inside with frustration. We want out so badly. When I met my former toxic partner, truthfully from the very first moment we met, I felt something was off. That was something about them not being quite right, that we weren't going to be a good match at all. Yet I ignored my better judgement and foolishly, I had no self-awareness at all for the years we dated each other. It can be challenging to confront a toxic person when you're dating them, living with them, persisting with them. Really tough. Especially when your self-awareness kicks in when you finally awaken from your slumber. But once you eventually walk away, you're alone with yourself, thoughts, feelings and more. I remember a few weeks after walking away on the other side, aka the greener pastures, and thinking to myself, what the hell was I doing with her? Why did I persist for so long? Why did I think I could change her? I was not awake. I was sleeping. I was a zombie. That's self-awareness. Something that has been in my arsenal ever since. And a powerful thing all people must have to survive the wrong people in this world romantically, more effectively. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you could switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with better help. Contrary to your belief system, when you are in too deep with the wrong person and a toxic relationship, you have no control. They have the power, the say, the influence. And by choice putting up with their bad behavior and persisting with them even more, you're losing more and more control. Control of your unmet needs, wants, desires, Control of your emotions, concerns, feelings. Control of your well-being, your future, your mental health. By removing yourself from a toxic relationship, you will be able to take full control of your life back. This means having the power to make decisions that benefit you. The ability to express yourself without fear of judgment and the freedom to live life back on your terms. In my former toxic relationship, I remember plenty of times sitting down and trying to have a conversation with her. I warned her, I'm not liking how you're treating me. This is unacceptable. Nothing changed. I reached out. Please open up to me. Tell me what's truly bothering you. Maybe we can solve this together. Nothing happened. I suggested things. Let's try couples therapy so we can really work together as a team and grow. She never wanted to go. Truthfully, I tried to save a narcissist, a toxic person, to improve as a partner and to see the light and to become healthier and better. And I failed. I failed so badly. Upon walking away to greener pastures, I took control of the most important things in the world to me. My life, my future, and my mental health. The grass is greener because you will be taking back control. You can enjoy better mental health by walking away. Removing yourself from a toxic relationship can be an effective way to improve yourself mentally. When you're no longer held back by an unhealthy relationship, you can focus on activities and relationships that promote positive mental health and overall well-being. 
When I mention the grass is greener, what do you see in your mind and imagination? For me, I saw fields of gold, a sunny sky, clear blue skies, trees, butterflies, no buildings, no people, no houses, just hills and hills of greenery. That image gave me peace and serenity, and so much clarity too, and comfort. I would travel to that place in my toxic relationship as I would dream of being free of the wrong person. I can safely say since walking away, and even though there have been plenty of setbacks in my life, I've drastically improved my mental health as a result. I champion therapy and better help for helping me on my journey to a better life overall. The grass is greener might be a metaphor just to get away from the wrong situation. But I assure you, with the right approach and willingness to take personal responsibility, you can improve mentally and emotionally on the other side, just like I did, and plenty others have as well. If you're willing to take the first step, we look forward to joining you on the other side, where I can assure you the grass is greener.